What's up guys, this is Dan from Skate Warehouse. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put on rails on your board today. All right, so pretty simple. Before you wanna put on rails on your board, you wanna either grab a screwdriver or a power drill if you have one. Uh, power drill is a little bit easier, but um, it's kind of a preference. So the benefits of skating with rails is um, put them on your board and you pretty much do board slides anywhere. I uh, don't really need a whole lot of wax. Beneficial for just being able to skate a lot more stuff, a lot easier with a lot less preparation. And when you're looking for rails, you kinda just wanna feel it out, maybe buy a different couple of products. What I skate usually are pig rails. They're a little bit like lower profile. They don't stand up as tall as some other rails. So it doesn't feel like you're kind of like riding high when you're doing board slides and that kind of deal. So there's a couple of ways to put on rails. Um, you know, you can use a couple of different tools. Either way, it has to have like a Phillips head screwdriver. The pig rails come with Phillips head hardware. So you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver or a power drill with a Phillips head uh, bit in it. Um, it looks kind of like that. For starters, you kind of want to figure out where you want to put um, your rails uh, as far as like in towards the center of the board. You don't want them like really that far in and you don't want them like sitting on the edge necessarily. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be kind of your own preference. You're going to figure out what works better for you. Uh, to start, I would say maybe go like quarter inch, half inch in from the end of the board in. And once you have your rail figured out where you want to go as far as like edge of the board, you kind of want to figure out um, where it's going to fit so where your wheels don't bite. Depending on how big your wheels are, it's going to change. If you kind of ride bigger wheels, you might have to just be a little bit more careful on your placement. But just kind of before you screw anything in, make sure that your wheels don't touch the rail. Um, that way if you get real wheel bite, it's going to you know, cause you to fall. Um, and once you have your placement figured out, just hold it nice and steady and take your screwdriver. Screw it in just a little bit, that way it gets it nice and set. And you can feel the screw um, kind of bite into the wood immediately. And once you feel it bite and you feel a little bit of a resistance on your bolt, go for it. Just keep screwing in. Kind of inspect your board, make sure that it's all the way flat up against the uh, against the board, there's no space in between the rail and the board. And you can kind of use that as a template where to set the rest of your screws. So for the next step, you want to go onto the opposite side of the rail and screw in the next screw. Um, that way it kind of sets the um, placement. That way it doesn't get all curved and wobbly because these things will bend if you don't put them in the right way. So once you make sure you have it all lined up in the right spot, go ahead and set the next screw. Same thing. Inspect the rail, make sure that it's all the way up against the board, there's no space, it's all the way down in there. So once you have your two outside screws screwed all the way in, you feel free to just screw in as you please. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point, you have it all set in the right spot, it's just to add a little bit of extra reinforcement to the rail, and that way it doesn't fall off or break off when you're skating it. So uh, a lot of people like to skate one rail um, versus two rails, even though the pack comes with both, and um, kind of see that's how it's like meant to meant to be. Uh, the benefits of skating one rail is that it's not as slick. Um, when you skate two rails, it's just an all plastic surface hitting whatever you're doing a board slide on. So it's, it's pretty slick. Like when you first do it, you're probably gonna have to take some getting used to. Uh, but if you ride one rail, um, it has a little bit of both where it has the extra slickness, but still dragging on some of the wood that you're doing board slide on. Um, I personally skate one rail. It's just kind of my own preference. I would recommend starting off with two, and if that's a little too slick, then you can just take the one rail off and um, try that out. Uh, and always, always, always put the one rail, if you're gonna only skate one, on your toe side. If you put it on your heel side, you're not gonna be very comfortable when you're doing board slides. Um, think of it kind of like as a gas pedal. You don't really want you know, to be pushing with your heel. You wanna be pushing with your toe. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna end up working out that way. So as far as putting on the second rail goes, uh, pretty self-explanatory, you're gonna go through the same process yet again. Um, just try to make sure that it's the even, even distance as you did the same one. You don't really want it to be like all funky in different spots. Um, make it nice and equal. All right, so once you're finished, uh, your rail should look like this, pretty even from the edge, nothing kind of out of place. Make sure that the rail is like making contact with the board or makes it look like it's completely touching. If it's not, it's gonna fall off a lot easier and you don't really want that. Um, but yeah, once you're all done, go out, go skate, do some board slides, it'll be a lot easier. Approach the wall pretty much straight on. 
you're gonna lift up your front foot and place your front truck down on top of the deck. I like to start turning my shoulders before I get